Welcome to Dr. David Eifrig's Health and Wealth Bulletin. This is Weekly Update. This week, we're tackling one of the hardest subjects we've ever faced, mass shootings. So far in 2018, we've already seen 34 mass shootings, and that's if you categorize it by four or more people shot. Now, our job here at Health and Wealth Bulletin is to keep you informed so that you can be empowered to make decisions to keep you and your family safe. That's why this week we spoke to Butch Benty, who is a former police officer, SWAT team member, and currently works as a sheriff's deputy here in Maryland. Butch outlined five different ways to help keep you safe should you ever be in a mass shooting situation. The first tip is to think like a bad guy. Anytime you go out in public, to concerts, to movie theaters, anywhere where there's a crowd of people, you wanna make sure that you're keeping an eye on all of your surroundings. That means not letting yourself be distracted by your cell phone, for instance. You want to pay attention to anyone who might look strange or carrying a large bag that looks suspicious. Remember, the phrase, see something, say something, also applies to mass shootings. You always want to be on guard and alert the authorities should you be suspicious of anyone in your area. Our next tip follows the FBI guidelines of run, hide, and fight, specifically running. The first thing you want to do, should a mass shooting occur, is to try to escape if it's safe for you to do so. This is why it's very important anytime you go somewhere to always know your exits. Find them and get to them safely if you can. For example, if you're in a movie theater, you may want to sit near the back of the theater where there are doors to the theater itself. That's because if a shooter should come in, they're more likely to come in from the street, which is closer to the screen. If you're in the open when someone starts shooting, also try to run if you can, but make sure that you do it in a zigzag pattern to make it harder to hit you. The third tip is to hide, or in some cases, simply to take cover if you can. If you do hide, stay hidden until the police come and get you. Don't try to leave, don't try to do anything else. Stay hidden and quiet. Now, an important point here is to take your cell phone and turn it off. Unfortunately, we're seeing instances where people have their cell phones on, a loved one might call them to check on them, and unfortunately that sound will alert the shooter to their presence. This is a very important tip to keep in mind. As far as taking cover, also if you're out in the open, trying to get behind anything from a mailbox to a car will help shield you from fire. Our fourth point is fight. Now, a lot of us are very nervous about this situation, but should you come face to face with an attacker, you want to make sure you're prepared. If you have anything you can throw at them, having a distraction, even a piece of paper or a clipboard, anything within reach, can throw them off for enough time to let you attack them. If you haven't already, taking a self-defense class is also really important. And this is great not only for mass shootings, but really for keeping you safe on a day-to-day -day basis. Anything from muggings to potential kidnapping, you really want to know what to do in those situations. You can find a self-defense class in your area. In fact, we're going to have a link below on how to do that. And our fifth tip is to practice. Drills are becoming more and more common, but you also want to think about practicing stress breathing. That's because so many of us freeze in times of crisis. You want to make sure that you know how to deal with that. You also want to start making it a practice that every time you go out in a crowd, you want to be thinking about these five tips. Again, we want to give special thanks to Deputy Benty for all of his help in putting this together today. We also have more information for you in the links in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and keep your comments and questions coming to our feedback line. We'll see you next week.